Hello everyone, my name is Tan Ji Tun, the Chief Investment Officer of Asia Pacific Equities at RHB Asset Management. Welcome to another episode of our podcast. In this podcast, we will explore the topic of inflation and discuss what we are seeing in terms of key pricing trends. To start off, let's look at PMI or Purchasing Manager Index of different regions to see how the economies are doing currently. The China PMI has been very strong for the past 12 months. The PMI rebounded very strongly from the sharp contraction we saw during the COVID lockdown in China in the first half of 2020. Looking at the PMI trends of other parts of the world, we can also see that practically all the regions in the world are recovering nicely in 2021. On the back of the recovering global economies and with parts of the world in some form of lockdown, the release of pent-up demand and the short-term dislocation in the supply chains has sparked fears of inflation. Correspondingly, the global interest rates have responded to such inflation fears and interest rates have been rebounding from the lows that we saw last year. Specifically, in February of 2021, we saw the US 10-year bond yields spike from 1% to 1.7% within a few weeks. All these resulted in the weakening of the stock markets from late February. Let's now explore the topic of inflation. But first, let's differentiate the two key inflation indicators that investors look at. Firstly, there is PPI or Producer Price Index. PPI measure costs from the perspective of the industries that make the product. As such, PPI is often linked to the prices of commodities and materials that go into the manufacturing of the products. Secondly, there is CPI or Consumer Price Index. CPI measures prices from the viewpoint of the consumer. This is usually the benchmark inflation index that most people pay attention to. Typically, CPI consists of key consumption categories like housing, apparel, transportation, food, medical, recreation, etc. Usually, the costs that the producers and retailers incurred are often passed on to the end consumers. As such, investors will often look at PPI to predict the impact on CPI. Let us now look at the recent price trends of some of the key commodities we monitor. Copper prices are at an all-time high now. There's excellent demand for this important industrial material, resulting from the strong economic rebound that we are seeing in the world right now. Iron ore prices are also performing very strongly in 2021, as there is strong demand for steel from a recovering global economy. We are also seeing the same picture for oil prices as well. A combination of political, supply and demand factors have supported the recent rise in oil prices. Even prices of soft commodities like crude palm oil have seen a very sharp rebound in recent months. CPO prices are in fact at the highest point in recent memory. On this chart of US PPI versus the US CPI, we can see that the historical correlation or linkages between the two have been very strong. In recent months, we have seen the PPI rebounding very strongly, but CPI have lagged somewhat. It is certainly worth watching to see if CPI will catch up in the next few quarters. Closer to home, let's turn our attention to the CPI in the Asia-Pacific region. Looking at the UN World Food Price Index, we can see that food prices are closely linked to Asia-Pacific CPI. Countries in emerging Asia are especially affected by rising food prices as food constitutes a large part of their consumption basket. As such, from an investment perspective, we will need to watch out for the impact of rising CPI on Asian countries, especially in ASEAN. We will also like to point out that central bankers globally in recent months have taken great pains to highlight that these recent inflation pressures are temporary and not structural in nature. These recent inflation pressures are due to short-term supply dislocation and the release of pent-up demand from a year of lockdown and restrictions. For us at RHB Asset Management, we are certainly paying close attention to these inflation trends. Picking the right stocks 
end sectors will be crucial as the impact of inflation will affect companies differently. We are looking to buy stocks that will benefit from a rise in inflation and companies which are able to pass through increased costs to protect their margins. With that, we have come to the end of our podcast. Hope everyone stays safe and healthy in your daily lives and in the market as well. Thank you very much for your time.